Welcome to the Windows and Computer Channel, and this is another part, part 5, I believe, uh, for the uh, install of Windows 10. So now we are at this other uh, question. How would you like this set up? So you have a setup for personal use and setup for organi an organization. So of course, if you're setting from home and you have only one PC, or even if you have multiple PCs, but you're a home user, of course, setup for personal use is what you will be using. And uh, you will be, of course, using a Microsoft account and have control of your device. If you set up for an organization, maybe you're working for a company that needs uh, to have or for you to have access to the, um, you know, company accounts and uh, there needs to be certain control, then it's the organizations that will actually set up your PC. And that means you lose part of the, um, you know, kind of part of the personal use of your PC because often companies want to have more control. So you choose the correct one. For most home users, it's set up for personal use and click next. Now it will ask you, do you want to sign in with a Microsoft account? Uh, here you can use a Microsoft account if you have one and just enter the email. You can also go on the bottom left. You see here it says offline account. So if you don't have a Microsoft account or if you don't want a Microsoft account or because maybe you've heard that there's too much control going on with um, Microsoft you can choose offline account which will make some of the settings and some of the features of Windows 10 not work because some of them require to have a Microsoft account but I will go ahead and use my Microsoft account because I want to have my own um, sync of all the data and all the information between devices. That's one thing you'll be missing out on an on offline account is there's no sync capabilities between your computers if you have more than one PC. But you know, if you're uh, if you don't want to have you know Microsoft controlling some of the stuff you do, and if you have only one PC, an offline account will be perfect. Of course, it will ask you for the password of that online account so you can enter a password and hopefully I remember that this is the password because I never remember my passwords and you click next and of course now I will need to approve my request so um, this is a protection if you want so what I will do is actually go approve my request and once that is done I will come back with another part of the video where we'll continue, of course, uh, setting up Windows 10.